What is going on guys, I'm What the Moose, and today I'm bringing you another episode in the What We Can Learn From series that I'm doing on my channel. The first episode was Call of Duty 4, that link will be down in the description. Obviously the second in the series is World at War, as you see on screen here. This is a MP40 gameplay, uh, but I, I do kind of scavenge weapons all over the place. Like I have a DP28 at one point, a Type 100, a uh, Thompson, and a few other guns that I just randomly pick up just for fun. Uh, World of War is one of my favorite games, and I think we can learn a lot from it. Uh, obviously, now it's kind of hacked like crazy. This is, that's why I really why I'm playing Team Deathmatch. Uh, almost every other game type, like War, Domination, Search and Destroy, are just hacked out um, like crazy. So uh, it's pretty hard to play those game modes. So I had to go into some Team Deathmatch and get a quick gameplay. I think I went uh, 19 and 7. So I mean, it could have been better, but hey, it's not bad, and uh, it's World at War. So uh, you got you kind of have to avoid the hackers whenever you can. But uh, getting right into the commentary topic for today, what we can learn from Call of Duty World at War. First, I have no single gun should dominate, and obviously that goes right to what gun I'm using. Uh, this, um, the MP40 is a, a ridiculously amazing gun. Uh, I think it was a two-shot kill, maybe a three at his longest ranges, and it was an SMG. Uh, that's absolutely ridiculous, and we really can't have that ever happen again in Call of Duty. It kind of happened in Modern Warfare 3, in my opinion, with the MP7 and the uh, and the ACR, but other than that, I don't really think it's happened in a Call of Duty game since that, uh, especially because they patched the AK-74U you in Black Ops 1. That kind of contended with the uh, MP40's power in World of War. Moving on to point number two now, I said World War II is too stale for people now. So basically what I mean by that is, uh, you know, World War II, they did a lot of games on that. The first three Call of Duties were all based on World War II, and then number five was based on World War II. So the first four out of the five, four out of the first five games were all about World War II. I think now we're, we're going to have to start moving into the future like Black Ops 2 has and like Call of Duty Ghost looks like it is doing. I hope they continue that, and uh, to be honest, I don't really want them ever to go back to World War II unless they're going to do something really funky with it. And kind of make it futuristic and funny. Uh, moving on, vehicles in Call of Duty do not work. If you guys remember, there were tanks on certain maps in this game, um, a few of them, and they were awful. Um, all those maps were terrible, and it was basically because they had tanks on them and because they were huge maps. But uh, the, <laughs> the the tanks were awful in this game. They were terrible to deal with. They are not that bad to destroy, but it was just annoying to have to deal with them, have to think about it, have to pull out a tank destroy class, things like that. Much easier to just play and not have to worry about tanks at all. So uh, that's just my feeling on that. Uh, moving on now, the last multiplayer, uh, what we can learn from, in my opinion, is uh, useless perks need to be combined. So there were a lot of perks in this game. Uh, one per one particular called Shades protected you from a thing called Signal Flares. Um, basically, they were flares that ob obstructed people's view. Um, there was um, Gas Mask, which blocked you from Taboon Gas. So, uh, I mean, uh, all those perks could have been combined. Um, and they could have been combined into a perk, let's say, called Tac Mask, or Tactical Mask, like we have in Black Ops 2. And it actually would have been a viable perk that could have competed with Stopping Power. But uh, since they were all separated into like three or four different perks, it really did not help at all. Uh, there was also a perk called Fireproof that uh, helped you against Molotov Cocktails and um, the flamethrower, but honestly, no one really used those. But uh, if it was in a perk called Tactical Mask with all the other benefits of like Gas, mac gas Mask and Shades, I think it would have been actually a viable perk, so they have to kind of consider that in the future. Last but not least is Zombies is fun and needs to stay. This is obviously a point that I'm sure many of you agree with. Um, uh, zombies for me isn't my isn't my highlight of Call of Duty, but it is definitely the second best part of Call of Duty. Uh, I'm not a big campaign player, but I play multiplayer a ton. And zombies, I play a pretty good amount as well. Zombies is a ton of fun, and it first came out in World at War. Obviously, Treyarch knows that the zombie fan base is huge, and I'm sure they're going to capitalize it capitalize on it in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Please leave a like if you did. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.